When users approach me and want to learn Adobe Illustrator, one of the first things they ask me is, what is Illustrator? Well, the canned answer, if you will, is that Illustrator is a vector-based drawing and illustration program. And that answer generally leaves them knowing even less about what Illustrator really is. To explain what Illustrator is, a picture is really worth a thousand words. So I'm beginning this video with the raster underscore vector dot AI file already open on my computer. And this is really just a basic piece of artwork with uh, two images of the same boy. Now, to really understand, however, the difference here, we need to zoom in on this artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my zoom tool, and I'm going to zoom in on the head of the boy on the left. And as I zoom in, you can start to see that maybe this artwork isn't quite as clear as what I had thought it was. Let's go ahead and continue to zoom in. And you can see that as I zoom in further and further, you're going to notice that once I get deep down under the covers here, that this artwork is made up of pixels. So this is a pixel or raster based piece of artwork. Now, this is not really the type of artwork that Illustrator is best at creating. Although there's times when you will want to create raster-based artwork, the crux of Illustrator and the whole purpose of what Illustrator can do is the fact that it can create vector-based artwork. So let's go ahead and press Command-0 on Mac or Control-0 on Windows to zoom back out on our document. And I'm going to move over here to the right example of this boy. So I'm going to zoom in on his head as well. And that looks pretty good, but let's continue zooming in on this section of this boy. And you're going to notice that the further I zoom in, the artwork continues to be crystal clear. And that is the type of artwork that Illustrator is best at creating. Illustrator is best at creating vector-based artwork. And when we say vector-based artwork, we're really talking about the fact that our artwork is made up of paths instead of pixels. So I'm going to press Command-0 one more time, or Control-0 on Windows, and I'll just zoom in on this boy's head once again. So the difference here is that if I click on my Direct Selection tool, or the White Arrow tool, you're going to notice that if I click on his hair, for example, that this component is a vector piece of artwork that can be manipulated. So for example, I could click on one of these anchor points and kind of move his hair down. I'm going to undo that. Let's go ahead and click off of it. I'll click on the anchor point again. And you'll notice that we can actually reposition parts of this artwork. Change his hair here. Let's make his hair kind of move over here a little bit. Make it a little more curvy. But we can manipulate this artwork. Now conversely, when we come over here to a raster based piece of artwork, as I click on this with the same tool, it's really just one big component. Because Illustrator's job is to work with these individual vector-based components, and this is one big raster-based component. Now there are both advantages and disadvantages to both formats. So for example, photos are all raster-based, like the one on the left. And therefore, you're really limited to what Illustrator can do to a raster-based image. However, with vector-based artwork, we are not dealing with pixels, we're dealing with paths. Raster-based artwork, if I click on this and I scale it up, I'm just going to hold the shift key and scale this up to make it larger. And you're going to notice that as I keep making this larger, the image quality is significantly going to decrease. So, when you're dealing with raster-based artwork, you are somewhat limited as far as how big you can scale your artwork and what you can do with it. With vector-based artwork, on the other hand, I'm going to go ahead and marquee this whole piece of artwork, and then I'm just going to hold down Shift and scale this in the same way. The difference here is that vector-based artwork is really done using mathematical calculations. And so, Vector-based artwork is essentially infinitely scalable. I can scale vector-based artwork up as big as I want to, and the quality is still going to be just as good as it was 
with the original artwork. So you may be asking yourself, well, what type of artwork do I create with Illustrator? Well, some of the more common types of artwork you'll create with Illustrator is logos, illustrations, and other types of artwork of many different kinds. What you generally will not be creating using Illustrator is photos. So photographs that you take with, say, a digital camera, or even that you've scanned in using a scanner, really don't have much of a meaning inside of Illustrator other than for a few common types of manipulations that you may do, such as converting the photo to vector-based artwork. I hope this brief explanation has answered some of your questions and you now have a more comprehensive understanding of what exactly Illustrator is and how you might be able to use this amazing program to create your own artwork.